Okay, so you got these two. What's going to happen? You know nitrate and potassium, they're spectator ions, really. So when these two mix, you want to know will it precipitate. That really means whenever you see a will it precipitate, that there's a Q, uh, that you want to find Q to go on. Since you know that there's a part B to this problem, it has to precipitate, or the part B is irrelevant. Uh, so you kind of can guess the answer. So what you need to do, you want to find Q for PB N32. Let's assume it will, so we'll write it as a solid. It goes to lead 2 plus, plus 2, N3 minus, and those are both aqueous. And so you can write Q is the initial concentration of lead times the initial concentration of N3 minus squared. So there's Q. Find Q. You finish the problem. So we need the concentration. So to find the lead 2 plus concentration, this is whenever you have to do a volume adjustment. It's the M1V1 equals M2V2. So you take the initial concentration, 4.0 times 10 to the minus 3 molar, that's the initial concentration, do the volume adjustment. You start off at 750 and you go to 750 plus 250. I think that's 1,000. And I get 3.0 times 10 to the minus 3. There's the new molarity, or there's the molarity after mixing. Do the same for the N3 minus. And that's initial concentration, 8.0 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. Do the volume adjusted, you start off at 250, you go to 1,000. And I got 2.0 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. So there's both the concentration, just put it in Q. Equation for Q is right up above, so that's 3.0 times 10 to the minus 3 times 2.0 times 10 to the minus 3 squared. Q is going to equal 1.2 times 10 to the minus 8. Now you have Q, you compare it to K. Is it smaller or larger than K? Oh, sorry, this is 9, not 3, 9, right there for K, wrote it down wrong for my paper. Uh, a question. Yeah, you have a question. Why first. is 2.0 times 10 to the minus 3 squared, the bottom Q? Because this is squared. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. So remember, when there's 2, and that's oh, the most okay. common mistake I saw in the homework, yes. is people forget to put that 2 here. Okay. So sorry, now is Q larger or smaller than K? Larger. Larger. So will it precipitate? Yes. yes. Okay, there's your answer. Yes, what's your answer? You also need to do your work to solve this. So that's part A. If there's no questions, I'll go on to part B.